What's up everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for those of you guys who are new, welcome. I'm glad that y'all can make it today. In today's video, I'll be talking about Teespring, which is an online platform that I alluded to in my previous video called My First Time Using Typorama an App Review. In that video, I talked about how I took the designs that I created in the Typorama app, saved them as PNG files, and then planned on using them to create various clothing items in Teespring, which could then be sold through an online storefront, which I was also able to create on Teespring. So if you are curious about creating your own online store and selling your designs on Teespring, but would like to know a little bit more information about how it all works, then please stick around because you've come to the right place. Also, also, please, please, please be sure to check out my online storefront. It's called MDJ Squared Clothing, and I've got a lot of options for y'all to peruse through already. So please, if you can, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And now, without further ado, let's hop on into this video. All right, everybody. So the very first thing that we're going to do is type in teespring.com so that we can go to the site. Um, and for those of you who don't have a Teespring account, which might be a fair amount of you, you would have to create your account and then it'll bring you back to the login screen so that you can log in. And this is going to be the very first thing that you see. This is your home page, which provides you with the analytics review, announcements, as well as a quick startup guide. And with that quick startup guide, you have those four options to create products, set up storefronts, promote products, and get paid. I mean, if you click the learn more option, then it will provide you with and all those little bullet points where if you click those then it will send you to a new tab which will provide you with more information about those specific categories. And for the purposes of this particular video we're going to go and create a storefront. So I scroll over to create store, click that button, and then it sends us to this page. Um, so the name for my store is going to be Mark's Store. <laughs> I know, original right? <laughs> we're going to click the create store and here we are. Uh, this is where we start to build our storefront. You can upload products from an existing storefront, um, which I couldn't do, so I had to create a product, which is why I'm hovering around create a product, because that's what I had to do. But as you click about, that is where you will be able to write and you know, tell people what your store is about, what you're selling, what your story is. And, um, over to the left we go to header I can change the name of my store if I wanted to or I can upload a logo to use instead I'm going to change the store's theme color um, looks like we're making it black first and then we're going to change it yet again to pink nice extend branding to products keep that on show your store branding on all products in your store that's what that does so I'll save that because I'm fine with that go to the banner can change the banner if I'd like. I can upload an image so that instead of the background being pink, it could be something else, but I didn't want to do that. Here's the about section where you can write um, what your store is about and basically explain who you are, what you're about, you know, what's your story. And for me, it's I love Teespring and you should check out my online clothing storefront. Mm, I agree with that. That's a great, oh, and a little smiley face. <laughs> I agree with that. Y'all should definitely check it out. I think that y'all will like what you see. I'm telling you. So, you know, when the video is over, be sure to check it out. Okay, so once I'm done with the about, go to settings, enable product categories, enable cross-selling. That's essentially all tied to marketing efforts. And then the URL permalink. That is going to wind up being your um, URL that you can use to send to people or upload to your website so that people can access your storefront. That's what that is in a nutshell. So once you're satisfied with that, you see I go to the about, there's my about. I go back to all products and there you would get a preview of all of the products that you would have if you were to create them. But when you go to the store, this is what it will look like um, for um, when other people come to see the store. So now that we've created our storefront, now it is time to create some products. And I'll do it within my MDJ Squared clothing storefront. So scroll up to start designing. Click on that button. 
and then it should bring you to this page. You get to choose your product. Okay, and there are three categories. There's apparel, home, and accessories. And within each of those three categories, you have a plethora of clothing items and other accoutrements to choose from. You could create hats, phone cases, tote bags, t-shirts, much like I'm about to create right now. <laughs> so you click on the start with this and it will bring you here to select a unisex or men's t-shirt product. And uh, you have a few options to choose from even within the specific product itself. As you can see, we've got classic tea, comfort tea, premium tea, all over print, tri-blend premium. And with all of those, there are different based base costs and different sizes that would be available for each one. Um, so it looks like I'm going to go with the classic tea and I'm going to sell it. I'm not going to buy it. And it will bring us to this particular page, which is where the real magic begins. You get to create your product. And we're going to start with the very front of this shirt. So I'm going to add an image. I'm going to go with, like I said in my previous video, I'm going to go with the hashtag capitalism kills with a dollar sign. All right. And there it is. So. Once our design has been uploaded, it looks like I go down to printable area just so that you guys know that you cannot go outside of that red box. Okay, so be sure to stay inside of it so that your design does not get cut off in the final version. As you can see, I can move that little box. There's a option for me to increase the size. I can move it up, down, left, and right. Now I get to choose a background color. Um, and that's essentially just choosing a color for the shirt itself. Um, and what I'm doing is, so I'm adding, I just added a pink. And what will happen once I select the colors that I think look good um, for this particular design, for this product, those will be the colors that my customers will be able to choose from when they want to purchase this item. So I'm still experimenting. And whichever ones I didn't like, you know, once you click on it, you can click on it again to get rid of it. So it looks like I settled on those five options. Now I'm going to go and choose the first thing that the buyers will see. So say, for example, if you choose this hashtag capitalism kills with a dollar sign shirt, do I want you to first see this item in blue? Um, so I go over to have a better view of what that would look like. I change it to red. I'm just going through, I'm just experimenting to see which look I like the best. And, uh, looks like I'm digging the green. So I'm experimenting again, just trying to see if I can make it bigger. And ah, see again, the box. You can't exceed past the box. But on top of that, the print quality, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the dimensions of the box itself that encapsulates my design you cannot exceed those dimensions i believe for this particular one it is 17 by 17 inches that is the max size that you can have this design at for the quality of this design to remain in great shape okay so now i'm back to seeing which color which color excuse me which color i like best i think i'm going to settle for the green so I click done. As you can see, the very first thing that people will see when they click on this product is the Deep Forest Green Colored Shirt. So the next thing that we get to do is set the price of our product. And what we'd want to keep in mind is the base cost. Because what you'll notice is that each time I change the selling price of my t-shirt, my profit per shirt sold value changes. And that is because of that constant, that constant being the base cost of the shirt, or really how much it would cost for Teespring to produce this shirt. It's being deducted from whatever my selling price is. So if I wanted to earn a higher profit per sale value than 442, I would increase my selling price, which I do yet again. I change it to 1599. And so you can decide what you'd like your selling price to be. 
Um, but I know that for me, I believe I am okay with fifteen ninety nine, and once that is completed, I hit continue, and I am brought to this page, the Add More Products page. And once you reach this page, you are done with that first item. As you can see, the classic tee is located right below where it says Add More Products. And so now if you wanted to, you can scroll as you see that I'm doing to the right of that. You can choose any one of these items. And because your design is already uploaded to the system, all you'd have to do at that point is adjust the dimensions of the design itself, add colors to whichever item you just added to your product listing, and then set your price. And you should be good to go. So once you're done creating the items that you'd like to sell, You'll see them all appear here under the Add More Products, and then you can scroll on down and click Continue. All right, so on this page, we'll be able to add a title for this particular product listing as well as a description so that people will know what it is about or what inspired it. And so I am going to call this product listing hashtag capitalism kills with the dollar sign. Um, and then I already have a description, so I just copy and paste it in there and then make a few minor adjustments. And then I believe the next thing that I can do is select the very first image that the buyer will see, much like before. However, Teespring auto-generated this one. They chose that um, they chose it for me. So it looks like it will be the light pink hoodie, which I'm fine with. I see that the URL, they got rid of the hashtag and the dollar sign, so I just put in the S for Capitalism Kills. So now the URL works, visibility is on public, and it will be added to my existing store, which is my MDJ Squared Clothing. I scroll up just to make sure that everything looks good, and then I publish my listing because I am 100% A-OK -okay with how everything looks. So just give it a few moments, and then before you know it, your very first listing will be completed and it will be within your storefront. So see, let me get rid of the Rakuten ad. Um, ah, and then they suggest that you order a sample um, just because it will increase sales by 50%. Um, and also, just as a side note, it's easy marketing for you. You know, you get to rock your own clothes wear, you know, while you're out, someone might ask you about it, and then you get to go off on your own spiel and tell them about it. Um, so as you can see there, hashtag capitalism kills, that's the name of this particular product listing. You see that the light pink hoodie is the very first thing that you would see as the buyer, and it's the very first thing that I can see. <laughs> and then you are also able to get a preview of the other things that are within this particular product listing. It also gives you the price of each one of them, as well as the sizes that are available for each item within this product listing. You get the delivery details, as well as the return policy information. And you can see that you can share the design on Facebook or Twitter. That is essentially it. Yep, you have a view of the back or the front. You can zoom in to see the design up close and personal and get a better view of the product. You can view this in store. You could create another listing from here or order samples. All right, guys. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that now you guys have a bit more of an idea of what to expect when you create an account on Teespring and create your own online storefront. Um, in terms of myself and my overall opinions of Teespring, I think that it is very easy to use um, and to learn, you know, how to pick it up. I think it's, you know, super user friendly. Uh, I think that they provide you with a lot of various tools to utilize to make it look the way that you want it to look like, which is great. So you've got a lot of control. And um, you can't beat the fact that it's free to start. You know, I didn't pay anything to start creating designs and putting them out there. I just simply signed up and started uploading designs. And here we are. So that's really, really cool. That's a big bonus. Um, and also, you know, it's very easy to share these links. You know, they're you know, you can share your um, online store on YouTube, uh, much like I am in the link down below. Just scroll on down and check out the designs. 
um, but you could also share it, you know, like I showed y'all earlier on Facebook or Twitter, or you could text it to your friends or whatever. So in terms of, you know, marketability, I think that helps as well. Um, so yes, 10 out of 10, I highly recommend. And that is it, ladies and gents. So thank you so much again for joining me. For all of you guys who are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe as well as like this video. And please, for you guys as well as everybody else, please be sure to, again, scroll on down and check out my designs on my storefront. I would love to hear from you guys, you know? I would love to get a dialogue going. I'm curious as to know which designs you guys like the most. Um, so please be sure to do that if you can. And also, if you guys found this video informative, please be sure to share it with your friends and family. All right, so that's all I've got for you guys in this one. Please stay safe out there, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.